you guys. I didn't see you there. I was just taking a shower. You know how it's really important to me to be totally clean, even when I'm doing nothing. That's actually not true. But wouldn't it be nice if it were? Welcome to the Daily Allison. Today is Saturday, and you know what that means. It means, woo, it's the weekend. Woo. Um, was that convincing? Because I was fully acting, and there's like a hair stuck on my lip. This is just, I was just showing you my acting chops. Um, something crazy happened earlier. I filmed all this, and then I realized that it wasn't filming. And in the course of filming, the doorbell rang twice. Because real life doesn't stop for the Daily Allison. The Daily Allison is real life. Um, and I didn't answer it. And, and I actually got slightly flustered by the insistent way they rang the doorbell twice. It must have been the postman. Um, anyway, though, then I called up my guest. Is Diana Felsen. I was I was the pregnant pause so that you could be like, who is it? Um, yeah, it's Diana Felsen. And so I called her up, and we were recording. And then I realized that the camera had stopped recording. It's the first time I've had this kind of technical difficulty. So um, I don't know. I just hope it doesn't happen again because I'm gonna have to. Uh, heads are gonna roll. I'm gonna have to. Heads are gonna roll. And what I was saying is that if I had an unlimited budget, I would love to get a giant fish tank behind me with fish in it that I could climb into so that I could, like, be in the fish tank and then emerge and, and it'd be like, blah, 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 blah. and I'd be like, oh, hey, you guys, I didn't see you there. I was just swimming with the fishes. <laughs> get it? Some ideas, I, I, I have them, and I just sock them away in there for later usage, and then some I realize right, it's probably not going to happen. I'm probably not going to be able to do that. So that, hence, my telling you so that you can, you know, picture it if you can. Anyway, let's just call Diana up again. Diana Felzone, delightful gal, neat gal. She's a, a host of, um, of uh, Cosmolicious on Cosmo Radio. And she used to do Devor and Diana. And I'm trying to find her phone number. There it is. Okay. So this is take two. You'll never see take one. It's just, oh, I think she's on another call. Hello? Diana Falzone. Hi, Alison Rose. Are you on another call? Unexpected size. I was. I was on another. Oh. Working in diplomats at the, uh, at the embassy. So I have urgent news and I must attend. <laughs> Oh no! Is a world war gonna break out because you're not attending your, to this urgent news from a foreign diplomat? Most likely. I I don't want to say anything or worry you, but chances are that uh, bad things might happen because I'm not getting a phone call. Oh no! You know, oh, more Thank you. I think it's weird how there's that beep with the extra light. It's like a beep hiccup. It's like beep, and that's how I knew that you were on another call. I just think you stopped me if you want to know the truth, but you know what? I, I do both. I stalk you. Favor, so we're all good. We are so mutual stalking each other. Yeah. We're mutual stalkies. I don't think it technically falls into stalking. I think it calls, uh, falls into the adoration and appreciation category. Right. It's just it's just super intense friendship. So yeah. so how are you? Before I I explained. I don't keep anything from my viewers, and I explain to them what happened with the camera difficulty, so they know that there was an earlier version of this that didn't happen. Oh. Um, but so we, earlier we were talking about, you were saying that what people don't know about you is... Well, people, what people don't know about me is that before I ever became a talk show host... You were OCD? I was an astronaut. Um, no, in all seriousness, what people don't know about me and what I'm not really proud of is that I have uh, undiagnosed OCD and ADD. So mm. if I'm not working almost every hour of the day, I put my energy into cleaning. So I walk around my apartment just like I am right now, I'm pacing, and I have a bottle of Windex in my hand. So that if any, you know, if there's any moment that I notice a smudge on my glass coffee table, I have the ammo to just clean right away. There's no delay in it. Wow. Yeah. I'm I, I wish I were like that. Um, no, you don't. No, you don't. Because you wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you think, that carpet has to come back in two days. And there was a piece of wind and I need to do it. And you wake up and you vacuum. 
Yeah, but... but no, it's like I'm Howie Mandel. It's, it's just it's bad. It's so bad. The trade-off, though, is that you must have a really clean apartment. Because, so like, I have piles of crap I, everywhere. You don't ever have piles, do you? Oh, Allison. I know. Had what do you do? You just throw your stuff out all the time. Like I, I don't know how I get stuff that I just don't know what to do with. I don't become emotionally attached. Oh, that's you know? good. I'm emotionally um, attached to like everything that I. It, it's in my orbit. My apartment looks like a showroom in a furniture store. I'm it, so it envious. It really doesn't have a lot of warmth to it. I mean, it's very homey, but it doesn't have decor or anything like that. Like my bedroom has a mirror, a Pablo Picasso painting a television, a mantle, a desk, and a little sign that says love on it. And that's it. You know, everything, I'm a minimal. I'm a minimalist. You know, it's, it's just the, the bare minimum. I only have a couple places you can sit, which is a couch, a bed, and two chairs, and a call it a day. The rest of you are out of luck. You need to sit on the floor. So, like, do you just not really gather mementos and various bits of paper and stuff? As, no. as you, like, I just, like, I'm like... I'm like a snowball, a paper snowball, rolling down a hill, gathering more bits of paper. I'm like a walking fire hazard is what I am. That's dangerous, Allison. That's very dangerous. No, I, I really don't. I have a, I have a, uh, a file where I keep my emotional greeting cards to family and friends. Oh, that's so smart to have it in a file. Yeah, and I do that. And then usually I'll be like, you know what? I don't even like my brother anymore. I'm just going to throw out the cards that he sent me in 1992. Who cares? No, I'm just kidding. But I, I really don't. I, I'm not a task. Plus, my parents live in New Jersey, so they're, they're also known as storage. <laughs> that I don't want to have in my apartment. I'll just take to Jersey and be like, can you guys hold this in the attic or my old bedroom? You know? Yeah. See, the last time I was in California, I looked in my closet, which was my childhood closet, and in there were boxes, and one of them was marked CDs to send in July. Because when I moved to New York, I moved in March, like a zillion years ago, and then I knew that I was switching apartments in July, and so I had put stuff in a box to be sent to me in July, and it's been there in my the closet in California for like eight years. And it hasn't been touched. And that's actually organized because it's in a box as opposed to the, the, like, detritus that I have sitting on my desk right now. I'm in a bad way, Diana. Well, I would, I would help you clean, but the other thing is because I'm OCD, I have a really hard time cleaning other people's places. Does it just freak you out? It totally does. I can't believe you're telling me you're not going to clean my apartment. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, I have a random question. Okay. It's warm out today on this beautiful Saturday afternoon in New York City. I wish I knew, but I when I was out there, it was like 5 a.m. when I was doing my daily jog, so it, it was still a little bit cool. Did you jog at 5 a.m.? No, no, I was asleep. Um, I don't know. I actually haven't been out there, but I think it's... You? Yeah, no. I think it's in the, like, mid-70s. So it's kind of warm, actually. All right. I just need to know what to wear, because right now I'm wearing a sundress. And I don't want to be, I don't want to look like I'm showing off too much skin and being scandalous if it's not that warm out. Right, if it's not scandalous weather. I'll check the weather for you because I'm right in front of my computer. Um, oh, it looks like it is, let's see, today is 72. It's California oh. weather. So I think you're okay. Well, we're about to run out of time. Is there anything more that you want to say to the, um, the viewers of The Daily Allison? Well, what I want people to really know about Allison is that not only is she a word warrior and bright and intelligent, but in real life she happens to be one of my closest friends and my confidant, and I tell her a lot about my life. So if you ever want to get information on me, blackmail Allison. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Okay, so you host Cosmolicious on Cosmo Radio. You also do Pal Talk. And what should I link to? Well, you could just email me whatever links that you want me to link to on my blog. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Did I miss out on anything you host? Oh, we have like 10 seconds, real fast. FNC iMag, Date Night with Diana on foxnews.com. Uh, awesome. Well, thank you very much, Diana. You go clean now. All right, I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. later. Bye. Bye. Once again, I think I hung up on the tail end of that. What's up with this piece of hair? I hope you guys enjoyed that. I never knew she was that... OCD, really. I was just joking. And then out it came. <laughs> Sometimes when I joke, I joke accurately. 
All right, you guys. Love you. Have a good day. Bye. See you tomorrow.